Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Gel Strong Dewey and Essie's Shine of the Times. Yes, here we're going to start it off with some Unt Peel Off Face Coat. And here is the Kiss Gel Strong and this one is Dewey. It's a beautiful orange jelly. Excellent formula. I'm going to start off with capping my free edge. And then we're going to head on into our first coat. This is one of the polishes my friend Cherie sent me. And I'm getting a little messy with it. That is not the fault of the polish. It's got a really nice formula. I'm just getting a little carried away because I'm excited. This is one of those manis I pictured in my head one night when I was supposed to be going to sleep. And it kind of kept me awake. So I was really excited to get a chance to play with it. And here is the um, very famous Shine of the Times by Essie. This is one of the most sought after Essie polishes I ever remember. It just got so much attention. So I'm doing like a jelly sandwich with this one. I'm going to do Dewey, Shine of the Times, and then more Dewey. See, here we go with more Dewey. And then some more Shine of the Times. And I'm just going to layer it up. So that's how you do a jelly sandwich. <laughs> but I, just, I just could not wait to do this one. And kind of on camera, it's a little harder to see. Um, I think my swatch photos turned out pretty good, so you'll be able to really see what I'm talking about here in just a little bit after I get done, because you guys know I'm not done. Hi, Woody. I'm sorry. I didn't, I, I wasn't paying attention. Sorry, sorry. Woody is definitely going to be involved in this one today for those Woody fans out there. I'm going to top it with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat and get it to dry down. I am going to do a little bit of stamping today on two accent nails. I figured I'd use my middle nail and my ring finger as my accent nails today. Capping that free edge. Isn't that gorgeous? I'll be using Lena Filling Shapely 07, another favorite plate. My AliExpress Stamper and my Clear Jelly Scraper. I'll be using the Nicole Diary NS03, the gold stamping polish. And I just, this groovy little image, just to me, it screamed orange and gold. So, that's what we're going to go with today. I'm excited about it. Can you tell? <laughs> we'll flip it around because the image is the same, but there's not as much extra, extra on that one to get all over my fingers, you know. And I am covering this image really well because it's really deeply etched and I didn't want to have any bald spots. So uh, I loaded that up pretty well. I'm using a little piece of tape to get off this excess that I don't want all around my fingers. All over my fingers. There we go. Got those on there pretty straight. I'm pretty proud. I am going in with a piece of tape and today the Nicole Diary Gold is coming up like a dream. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It has all to do with, I think, the chemistry of my skin that day. I'm going to top this one with some of the Born Pretty Smudge Free Top Coat. I don't think the gold's notorious for smearing on me, but I just, you know, after all those layers, I don't want to risk it. And now I'm going to top it with the Posh Top Coat. This is my thick, glossy, fast-drying top coat that I love. So I'm really pleased with how this one turned out. It's got a little sunshine vibe going on to it. Just The colors are making me happy. So there we go. And here is a swatch photo of the, the glossy top coat. Look at the flakies. But now I'm going to top it with this super matte. And I have no idea where this one came from. AliExpress, Born Pretty, somewhere. I have no idea. But I love this matte top coat. It's really good. So I've topped that one. Hi, Woody, again. See, I told y'all he was going to be present today. Um, and it's a good size bottle, so I ought to be able to get lots and lots of manicures out of this one. There we go. I'm normally a glossy girl, you know this, but when it comes to flaky polishes, I just think matte just makes them look so cool. So, 
That's why we're doing the matte version today also. And here's the matte swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this. Leave me a comment down below. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself.